Welcome to Reef Diary number 134. Today I received a package from Vossen Aquatics. I had this package shipped to me overnight because of the winter conditions and that is something very important. This time of year is actually not a great time to be shipping livestock but my stuff arrived safe and sound with heat packs and everything inside looked great. And specifically what's in there are little tiny tuxedo urchins that are captive bred. They are literally grown in tanks from sperm and eggs, from cells and DNA, and I love it. I love little tiny things. You know that about me. And today I got to add 11 little tiny urchins to my 400-gallon reef. And I got them specifically to work on that red turf algae that's on all my rock work. As soon as I received them, I went ahead and put them in the sump to let them acclimate to the temperature of the water of the aquarium. And then I put them in this bucket with their own water from the bags. One bag was crystal clear and one was just a little bit off, just a little bit murky. And I thought, hmm. So I checked for temperature and I checked for salinity because I wanted to make sure that my salinity matched my tank. The salt water from the bags was 1.0245 and my water is 1.026 in my reef. So I needed to add a little bit of water every five or six minutes to this bucket to increase the water volume. I was also concerned there might be an ammonia issue going on because of transportation of livestock. So I put in a few drops of prime into the water as well. Just about six drops because this is about half a gallon of water. It's not a lot, but it was just to lock up any ammonia to make sure the urchins would be safe while they're getting acclimated to my 1.026 salinity. The temperature of the water was 78 degrees, which is exactly what my reef is. So that worked out perfectly. And after about 30 minutes or so of me just kind of keeping an eye on them and adding a little bit of water every so often, they were ready to go into the tank. A really good sign that they traveled well in shipping is that they are completely polyped out. They're putting out their tendrils, their little uh, suction cups that they use to attach to things, including the floating thermometer. So at this point, I thought, all right, they are active. They're not just sitting there stagnant at the bottom. They're moving. I'm going to go ahead and take two at a time, put them in my hand and carry them over to the reef. The best way for me to help you appreciate the size of these is to actually show them in my palm. They are so small and so adorable. So I carried them into the tank and I thought I'll just put them in the reef, but they immediately blew away. I mean, literally like little tumbleweeds, they just vanished. Uh, this was my first attempt while I had some flow in the tank. Actually, the return pump was off, which puts out a lot of movement, but the vortex were running. It didn't work. I decided to turn off all the vortex, so I had zero circulation in the reef at all, and then I could go ahead and place them one by one where I wanted them on top of the rock work. I didn't want to just drop them in the tank. I also didn't want to lose track of them because they're so small. And so I carefully put one here and I put one there. I, you know, They'd still roll a little bit <laughs> because they hadn't put out those little suction cups out that I showed you in the bucket. But uh, every single one went into the reef, and then, of course, when I was all done and I looked in the reef trying to find all 11, I found about 7 or 8. I don't even know where they all went, but I hope to keep seeing them day after day as I look at my reef, and hopefully they'll even eat some of that red stuff off the rock work. The reef is looking really well. I was happy to share this with you today, and I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Tuxedo urchins are really good grazers to put into a reef tank, and you don't have to worry about them doing a lot of damage. They may knock something over when they get larger, and you may have to re-secure it with glue or putty, but these guys are so small, they're going to get into every crevice. I am not even slightly worried about this happening. They may pick things up and decorate themselves as they move their way through the reef, but that's okay. That just keeps things interesting and different. Please give this a like, and if you're not a subscriber, now's your chance. Bye.